What is psycholinguistics? The term psycholinguistics comes from psychology, mental process, and linguistics, systematic study of language development, both of which are branches of science. Psychology covers the systematic study of human experience and behavior whereas linguistics is the scientific study of language. The fundamental objective of psycholinguistics is to assume the mental process of learning, producing, and properly understand the language. Psycholinguistics is a branch of linguistics. As a branch of linguistics, psycholinguistics deals with the mutual relationship between language and the human mind. The main purpose of psycholinguistics is how human psychology is enabled to acquire, produce, and understand language. As a separate branch of study, it emerged in the late 1950s and 1960s as a result of the Chomskyan Revolution. The ideas presented by Chomsky become so important that they quickly gained a lot of publicity. As a result, psycholinguists start researching such issues as the handling of profound and surface structures of sentences. In the early long periods of the advancement of psycholinguistics, special investigations were planned to examine whether the focus of processing is the grammatical structure. Based on the change of sentences, it was at first found that the simplicity of preparing was associated with syntactic complexity. Types of Psycholinguistics However, as we know that psycholinguistics is the study of language development, it can be divided into several subcategories. For example, 1. Developmental psycholinguistics 2. Neurolinguistics 3. Clinical linguistics 4. Second language acquisition Developmental psycholinguistics Developmental psycholinguistics usually deals with how children used to understand and produce the sounds of their first language. This can be considered as child language development. In the language acquisition period, a child tries to imitate his or her parents when he or she learns how to speak the mother tongue. However, developmental psycholinguistics studies how children can acquire a language and how they formulate these rules. Neurolinguistics Neurolinguistics mainly deals with the relationship between the human brain and linguistic procedure. Further, it is concerned with the function of the brain in learning and how to use language proper properly. Afterwards, neurolinguistics analyzes how the structure of the brain influences language learning. Clinical linguistics Clinical linguistics is concerned with human suffering from brain damage, which affected their ability to process and produce language. It also deals with several types of speech disorders that interrupt people to understand and speak the language. Second language acquisition Psycholinguistics also deals with how humans can acquire a second language. In other words, it is concerned with how people develop their proficiency in a foreign language. This is how a student can able to find the procedure of second language acquisition by studying psycholinguistics. That's it for today. Hope you have enjoyed this class. Please share this video and do subscribe.